A longtime Brightmore business is in a blight battle after an apartment building burned to the ground. When they couldn't get the issue resolved, they turned to our Ronnie Dahl. In true Ronnie style, she didn't stop hounding City Hall until that problem got fixed. Ronnie joins us now live in the Brightmore neighborhood with what happened since her last report. Ronnie, what happened? Uh a lot has happened since then, Glenda. In fact, the fire debris is gone, the illegally dumped trash removed, and the property is now secured. But why, oh why, did it take a trip to the suburbs, countless emails to City Hall, and one big headache to get this job done? The Universal Weather Strip and Building Supply Company has been in business since 1923, a family owned business dedicated to Detroit and Brightmore. Always a good neighbor. If you look at our place, it's nice. The grass is mowed, trees are trimmed, we have flowers everywhere. But this small business took a hit following a fire at the Jason Manor Apartments in March 2014. After the flames were out, the fire debris remained, an eyesore in the building supply company's backyard that started attracting trouble. It was terrible. Um, garbage everywhere, dumpers, illegal scrappers. I saw them scrap everything out of that place, including nails. That element really hurt my environment here because customers saw that. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months. More than a year after the fire, the property owner did nothing. City leaders did nothing. It was always a runaround. He said, she said, can't find them, it's in court. And you got right down to it. You you got it done. City leaders said they couldn't find the property owner to hold him accountable. So I tracked down the information through online state records, which gave me the name, Alan Rostam. Then I found his house in Troy and stopped by a business he used to own in Warren. He no longer owns the business. Oh, he doesn't own this no, one? No, not, not Motor City any longer. Okay. His son owns the business, but this, not him. That was in May. Soon after, the lot was cleared, the hole in the ground filled, and a fence put up. It took Channel 7 to get it done. Because of, of, of your presence and your tenacity that you've helped us with this. And that's what we're here for, to give a voice to the Detroiters that can't get things done for themselves. And to let you know, the owner of this property, he did not step up and do the right thing. In fact, it was the Duggan administration. Kudos to them. Contractors were actually hired to come out here and do the work. A lien is going to be put on this property so taxpayers can be reimbursed. For now, we're live in Brightmore. Back to you. That's good news. Thank you, Ronnie.